Hello everyone and welcome back to the Oasis. The entertainment Oasis. Oh man, we had a... Uh, last night was fun. It was, last night it was, was fun. Friday night, not so much. Yeah, it was... But last night Saturday was a lot night. of fun. Yes. Why was that? Because we played a beta. A, be a game. A game we've been waiting for that was supposed to come out back in... Was it no, March? No, it, it wasn't supposed to come out earlier. Yeah. It was scheduled to come out October. But no, um, they yeah. have pushed it back. They have Did back. they? I think it was supposed to come out in May, and then they pushed it back to October. Oh, it could well, be wrong. But anyway. either way, it's a game we've been <laughs> we, we've been waiting for. And I think we've talked about it on the channel a bit. We made a video. Um, we made a video about the about trailer. It. And we're talking about Back for Blood. Yes. Still hasn't come out. But um, what was it? This past Thursday or was it Friday? Thursday. Thursday, they came out with a beta version of the game, and thank you to one of our friends, um, Alex. Uh, Alex, Alex Vargas, that uh, brought it to our attention. Um, so the beta ran from Thursday all the way to actually today. Tomorrow, I think tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow, Monday, but it ended so. on Sunday, which is today. Because we can still play it today. Yeah. And I think tomorrow that's when it's over. Okay. It's gone. So yeah, so we got a chance to play it both on uh, Friday and Saturday. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a it's cross-platform, which means you you should be able to play online with any any system that has the game. So yeah. Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever. Um, so we gave it a shot on Friday, and it was a disappointment. <laughs> but not in, not in the way you uh, you were expect we were expecting though. Yeah. Nothing to do with really gameplay, per se. It was more about the connection issues. Yeah, and because we we were very excited, it was like okay, very Friday got out of work. It's like. We're gonna play, so yeah. I uh, I downloaded the game on my Xbox and on my PlayStation because um, they don't have the split screen uh, where both people can play on the one uh, on the one screen. So, At least not for this beta, but I doubt yeah. I, I doubt they'll release that for yeah for the October official release. So I was like, okay, well I'll just download it on both my systems, um, and so we, we got it we got it up and running, and you know I sent them the invite. The only problem was. That for whatever reason, when we were trying to crossplay with the Xbox and the PlayStation, the connection was just so bad yeah. to the point where we couldn't even get to an actual game. We would be because when when you open the beta, it takes you into this um, what do you call the a lobby? A lobby. It there takes you, go. you. It takes you to the game lobby where you can run Walk around, around. And interact with different little modes of the game, which a lot of them weren't available yet because yeah. it's of course the beta. <clears throat> and it, it was doing this weird thing to where when we would invite somebody um, two people would work for the most part mm -hmm. but once the third person came into the picture like everything would just kind of glitch up you would start getting kicked out of the lobby slash like it, 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 the screen was doing this weird blinking effect to where like you'd flash into the lobby then you'd come back out to like the loading screen um and so basically it just like the the cross-platform thing was was not working um so we ended up having to kind of take turns playing which was kind of lame yeah very, um, very lame but eventually um we thought well maybe two playstations can communicate pretty well mm -hmm. and like it's just, let's just bypass the xbox since that was the our friend who we we're playing online with had a playstation so we're like, let's see if the two PlayStations can communicate better, and they did. Yeah, um, flawlessly. Yeah, it, it eventually ended up working really well. Um, uh, so the, the game the game was fun, but like, let's, let's fast forward to Sunday, because that's where we really got to like... Saturday. I'm sorry, Saturday, I'm sorry, it's a days confused. That, yeah. That's where we really got to that's get where our really hands got to, That's where we really got to, to, to play a lot more of it. Um, and this time we were actually able to play with four people or friends or three 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 other friends four or people, yeah. Two other friends I should say. Yeah, so two plus the two of our friends and, and the cross the cross play actually worked here our friend Leslie was on her PC uh, and we managed to send her the invite and Everything was going smoothly. So then yeah, we, you know That that was the first time that it was gonna be a good night because everyone was was in there There was no getting booted out of the, the server Nothing like that, and it w yeah, it was three PlayStations and one PC. Yeah. So it's like, oh, Xbox, what's going on? What's going on? I know. I, I'm, what's I'm, going I'm, on with your system? I'm wondering if it was just Friday. You know, the connections were just bad or something, or like the the servers. Um, I'm hoping it was just that because Sunday with the PC or Saturday with the PC it just worked fine. And 
Maybe it's a thing where PlayStations can communicate well with PCs and so can Xboxes, but then when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, they maybe. maybe they don't like each other. I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, even even with it, like. Uh, working completely, I guess, like with the with the online play and stuff, there were still a little, a few little, like I guess, kind of hiccups, especially with the inviting thing. Mm. For some reason, whenever I got an invite, I wasn't able to join. But then when I sent out invites, they were able to join. I don't know, just weird little quirks like that that were still going on. Yeah. Um, but let's jump but into the gameplay. For the most part, yeah, it was it, it was fun. So the gameplay, so the gameplay. Um. You've, uh, if you watched our previous video about the trailer, you'll know pretty much all about what to expect. And we even played, uh, uh, Left for Dead, Left for Dead in preparation and all that. So, and it, I, I think it paid off, it did. And if you don't already know, this game is pretty much like uh, it's like a, the unofficial third part, yeah, for Left for Dead because it plays just like it. it, it does, it does. But they did try to, to add like quite a few new elements to, to make it its own thing. Um, some of it was pretty good, was, I mean, it was good overall, once you kind of got the hang of it, once you stopped, like, just constantly, like, comparing it to, like, the old Left 4 Deads, yeah. and realized, like, okay, they, they try to do something new. Um, which one of the things was, like, that weird, like, card, you card have to, thing. You have, like, a deck <laughs> of cards you can choose every round, like, you can choose a card. Which, at first, I was like, I just, I just want to, I just want to play. Yeah. Like, you throw have me in there. No lie, you have to click through like six screens before you get to the little uh, safe room. Yeah. For you to like start the mission. But yeah, that that was a little like, and you have to do it every single time. Every you clear, every round. Yeah. Every, every time you clear like a little a segment. But after a while yeah. though, I kind of grew to like it. Like the more I started seeing like how each card kind of uh, impacted impacted my character during the. Uh, what do, you, what do you call it? The, like each level was kind right. of cool, and then I, and then after that, then I started really looking into like, okay, what should I, what should I choose? And mostly, I, I kept going for health, like the little health pack or perk. Yeah. Um, I think for now we'll, we'll talk about the little gripes that we didn't like, and then we'll we'll go into like, you know, what we did like about the game. Um, now, eventually, me myself, I love stuff like that, like customizing your character and like little perks here and there. My only thing is. They should, hopefully they include an option to where once you build your little deck and you know you're gonna, you're gonna use that for a while, give an option to just bypass all those screens. Mm. And just like, do you want like just kind of a little option that says like use previous, hit yes and you can just go into the, go into that little safe room. Because every single time you have to click, 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 like five or six screens before you can get to the actual like little uh, in um, safe room lobby, and that that to me was kind of like really I have to choose every single time, even though I'm gonna choose the same things. Yeah, so that that was kind of a eh, thing I didn't like, but um, I guess that's kind of minimal. Yeah, not a, not a huge deal. Another thing was um, the attachments. Which God, for, those fucking scopes. <laughs> which for the most part is a good thing. I I, I, I like this new... Uh, so in, so, okay, for, so I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Up, rewind. Re rewind. <laughs> so in the old one, when you would uh, when you would progress through the level, you can eventually find stronger guns in the old Left 4 Dead games, which are considered like, oh, we got the upgraded guns, right? So in this one, yes, you can also find new guns like in crates or whatever, but you can also find attachments. Um, so if you like the previous gun that you had, you can still kind of mod it out with like, you know, an extra ammo clip, an extra scope or whatever. <laughs> now the, the problem, I guess with that is sometimes, say if I have a shotgun, right? I doubt, well maybe there are some people out there, but I don't think for the most part people will want a zoom in scope on, the shotgun. on a shotgun. Yes. And if you're out about in the in the map and accidentally pick up a scope and attach it to your shotgun, from what I can see, there's no way to take it off in game, which means you're stuck with a zooming in uh, shotgun for the rest of the level until you actually go to the next one and you have to buy, like um, I I think I don't know if it's available every single time, but the only way I was able to see like the safety one to keep that shotgun but get rid of the scope, you have to buy back like a, a holographic sight. So to speak, that was a big, that was an annoying thing. It was. I mean, 
I use yeah. a sniper rifle and I don't even like the scope on my on, on my gun. It, mm. But it was a pain though whenever whenever um, I would accidentally pick one up and then I'm like, well damn. It has a scope. Like it just kind of it kind of I found myself picking up weaker guns just to get rid of the scope on the stronger gun. That's how kind of a nuisance it is. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of a buzzkill. So, so I think yeah, if they could add a feature to, or maybe there is one. Maybe we just didn't find it, but I kind of I looked there for a bit. One. I couldn't find it. Besides the whole buying a, the another attachment in, in the little shop. Yeah, but if there isn't one, then I would really suggest for them to give you the option to just discard attachments. Yes, that, I, that I would agree. be a, a big help. Yeah, a really, really, really big help. Um, so the attachments, the uh, perk screen, um, the invites were a little shaky. Was there anything else that was kind of eh? One thing, I mean, I guess depends on, on, on who you are, but one thing I personally didn't like was the length of the campaign. Uh, it was in, really long. In Left 4 Dead, you have four stages, you know? Uh, the fourth stage is the one where you have to do some crazy... Was it four or five? Pretty sure it was four. Okay. So yeah, you have four stages, so maybe you're spending a max of like 45 minutes to an hour playing a, a About, campaign. About, if you want to, yeah, play through the, the full thing. This one had eight stages. Yeah. And we started around what time? 11? No, more like 11.30 or midnight. Yeah. We didn't finish till like 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, and that's that we, I want to say, died at least like once or twice. Once. once. We, we filled one uh, one round. Luckily, they give you continues. Yeah. Like, they give you three, so we only used up one of them. But even then, if we hadn't filled that, maybe we would have finished by what, like 2.15? Two right. 2 o'clock? Um, the thing is, though, and I'm pretty sure this is a beta thing, but... The way that I, the way that I saw the, the game set up, you can start it at a later chapter. I don't know. I, I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose, though. Um, I, I usually want to start a campaign from beginning to fin uh, beginning to end. Um, so jumping in at a midway point for me just kind of doesn't do mm. it. Um, mm. So I, I think that's the only thing. I mean, if if they allow you to or not allow you to, if they were to incorporate like smaller campaigns, that'd be great. Mm. Like, because um, but would, at least they do give you the option to to start midway or something yeah that's a good thing yeah it's just i wish like well i hope that when the game officially releases that you have different campaigns with different lengths mm. so maybe there's one that's only five stages there's one that's three stages six seven and then you get to choose like how much time do you want to invest in this campaign with your friends i doubt they're gonna do it yeah. but we'll, we'll see um we didn't try out versus mode yet no uh which is something we probably should have done but uh if it's anything like the versus mode from Left 4 Dead, I don't think I ever played the versus mode in Left 4 Dead 2. I played a lot of versus mode in, in the very first one, and that was a lot of fun. So if it's anything like that, then I would look forward to it. Um, one small th other thing that I kind of want to eh, nitpick at this is this one's like pretty small, but for some reason, like the I guess the special infected or the special mutations, they don't they don't really. They don't really like that's it's like a pun, but they don't really jump out at you as much as like the old, in the old ones. Mm -hmm. Like the old ones, the the special infected were very like distinct. You know, like the smoker, oh he does this. The hunter does this. The boomer does this. Tank witch, whatever. And like they even had their own little jingles and their little yeah. sounds that they made. Like you know that they're nearby. This one just seems like. I don't know, like a lot of the monsters kind of look similar, just very, just very like dark shaded and just mutated or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they just didn't, ha they just didn't like have that like pizzazz. Yeah, they didn't have that very like those distinct like little traits, like in the old one. Well, I mean, oh. you have the big one that has like the the massive arm. Yeah, then you've got like the the exploding one, the boomer one, and then the, the smaller one that that's kind of like the hunter. So like, yeah, I, I can see that. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking about it because in the older one, they went out of their way more to tell you, hey, this is nearby. Yeah. You know? And like this you one had it, your telltale sign. Yes. Like and with the boomer, you can hear the... 
Right. Like the little grumbling. And the hunter, you can hear it screaming, and the, the smoker, you can hear it coughing, the witch, the witch crying, crying, the freaking tank is just... And the shaking is, of the... <laughs> and just growling, you know, and roaring. So, yeah, this one doesn't have any of that, which I guess you can argue like, well, that that's what kind of makes it more challenging. You don't really know what's going to what's gonna come at you. But I, so. I, I mean, yes, that does add that element of surprise, but to that, I say that I used to like the, the sense of dread. When you yeah. hear the cry and you're like, oh, damn, damn it, where like is it. she? Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's just like on their toes. It's like, okay. So I, I don't know, I, I prefer the sense of dread, knowing that something is, we that a certain special effect is lurking around you, rather than That's just, true, because like, it adds like a, like that suspense. Like, like where everybody is it? on your toes. Where like, is it? And then like, when it still gets you, like, shit. <laughs> like, so yeah, I, I would uh, gladly trade the sense of surprise yeah. uh, for the uh, sense of dread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Definitely. But onto the stuff that we like, though. Yeah. I mean, naturally for me, the number one, friendly fire. <laughs> friendly fire. Oh I mean, God. Jesus, it is... <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't have been the same without Friendly Fire. Exactly. And, and it kind of forces you to be a little more mindful of where you're shooting. Yeah, it does. And one thing I love about this game is that as, as, you're, as you're killing zombies up close, their blood be, uh, starts to splatter on you. So it could be very easy for, for your teammate to think you're a zombie and then just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> whack. Yeah. And it's hap it happened a couple of times and I'm like, Jesus Christ, like it just... You look like a, a goddamn zombie, just yeah. covered in in filth. Uh, Aven like uh, when we say covered, I'm, we're talking drenched. drenched, drenched from head to toe, covered in blood. Your weapon, your the character's body, everything just it just looks like a a, a blooded mess. So yes, you can easily mistake your people for um, for a zombie, especially when it's all chaotic and people start getting separated a little bit, and then mm -hmm. you just turn somewhere and just shoot. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty tough. But that was I, uh, I like that yeah they uh they did keep melee weapons which you were a big fan of i was a big fan of melee weapons in the in part two but this one to me they i guess it depends on the weapon like the bat is like i i use the the little the little uh the little axe and then i managed to grab the bigger axe and i wasn't a fan of those because those you only swing like up and down up and down which don't get me wrong the big axe that can help you get into rooms that you might otherwise not have access to mm -hmm. that might have better guns and stuff but i feel like the bat because of how it it, it swings like it, it doesn't horizontally yeah it doesn't like just hit down on you it just it's a baseball swing so you can you can hit multiple zombies at once so for me who uses a sniper rifle well sniper rifle depending on which one you have like sometimes it's just very slow like you shoot and like and it's like no uh, when i'm in close quarters i like having the bat because i can just melee the shit out of a bunch of them when I'm being surrounded right. makes it a lot easier for me but for the little axe and the pistol well not the pistol but like the, the bigger axe it's just there's a machete I, I haven't even um, encountered the machete yet. the machete I mean it takes two hits to kill a zombie which is something that I really didn't like in the first one I mean well left for dead 2 the machete just in one in one slash you know can kill multiple zombies that are in front of you this one does not seem like the case um, and in this one, I also noticed. Well, I don't know about the bat. I'm pretty sure it's different with that because you said that it does like a like a sweeping thing. Um, but in in regular melee, like uh, in your regular melee, and, and I don't know if it's because I have this perk to where your regular melee is a knife, which means it kills zombies. I use that. It's a it's a single stab, and you have to be pretty specific on where where you're facing. Because if a zombie's coming at you from this angle and you're like slightly off, like to the to the left, it won't hit the zombie. Like you have to be dead center. To whereas in the old ones, like your melee was just like a like a sweeping like hit, yeah. where it, like it'll hit all the zombies away from you. So that's something that they changed. Um, I don't know if if let's see if I didn't get that perk and I just had the regular hit. Does it still do that like sweeping thing? I'm not sure. Like my bat does, because I always like for the games I always have the the knife as my instead of punching. Yeah, I, I mean ju I mean just your regular melee, like the, I guess the regular punch melee. Oh, is I that, don't know. I've yeah, been... is that singular or is that sweeping? I'm I'm not sure. I was I was always choosing that perk. So no, I think that when, in the first game I played, it was you. It's like it's not a sweeping punch. It's just like a so you only punch the one the one, the one zombie. zombie, but it, but it doesn't kill them like the knife does. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
but it, the good thing about the punch is that it pushes them pretty far away to the point where you can then reload your gun and yeah and shoot so it gives you it buys you more time yeah they kept that the same um while you're reloading you can still melee and it doesn't interrupt your your reload which is cool yeah. um they got a lot more versatile with the sidearms uh, you can have a, you can have a pistol, you can have a, a magnum, you can have a, a tiny little submachine gun, which I thought was really cool. Uh, you can have a double barrel shotgun, and then a, a pretty good um, array of melee weapons so far that I've seen. Yeah, and then of course they kept the Molotov. Uh, Molotov pipe bomb, frag grenades. Which I think those are new because I don't think they had. I think they're new too. Um, they for dead. Yeah, they, they added a whole lot more uh, little like utility stuff. Like there's like stun stun guns now, um, toolkits that you can use like on door like specific doors or to open up uh, crates, which is good though because there's from uh, scattered across the stage are a bunch of crates that have like different types of supplies in them. Yeah, um, and then you also collect money. Which is pretty cool. Which is you can use for the shop. So they, they did definitely add a lot more uh, customization to your character and a lot a, a lot bigger selection as far as weapons, um, utility items, healing items, you know. So overall, that aspect I really did like. You know, it, it kind of just makes your, your playthrough a little more personal. Yeah. It definitely does. Um... Let's see. There was one more thing I wanted to mention. What is that thing? Ah, um, of course this is, you can only play one act, but I do like the whole, they kind of added bosses to the game. That The, the big guy that, that came out, that doesn't, I mean, in the old ones you only had what, the tank, which doesn't really count as a, as a boss, but this one, like, you can tell, you know, there, this is and this is only one act, so in the future there's probably going to be uh, more of them, and I would really be I would really like to see what they are. Yeah, and I hope that that is the case that every campaign has a different type of uh, big boss. boss. Because e even though it came out like I think was it the third act, uh, it didn't come out at the end. It came out in the third act, and then again in probably like the sixth. maybe the second. Was it the second? Yeah. Well, it, it didn't come out at the end end. When and I guess that's an, that's another weird thing. When we got to the eighth level. We imagined it was going to be hectic. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it was one of those things where it's like, okay, you guys got to blow that up and you have to get all these these uh, cannon shells or whatever and then shoot the cannon uh, five times at the at the, the wall thing and then you got all got to get into the car and leave. And so we did that. But then there was like a, a small little horde of zombies that came and then after that it's like, there was nothing. And I was like, okay, uh, so shoot the second one. Shoot nothing. The load, third, shoot fourth, the third, and fifth. then. And that's that we took a while to figure out what Tadifian fucking do. Yeah. So then yeah. after that, it's like I, I guess we all just <laughs> so let's just walk to the truck then. Yeah. And then like, so, we just drove off, and that that was the end of the game. The last level, for us, I may have glitched out because we didn't get any hordes, hardly anything at the end. I don't know if one if it was a glitch or maybe they just didn't bother bother to program it for the last level since it's the beta. Yeah. I'm not sure. But if you know that, if you happen to play it and it had a different experience, let us know in the comments. I'm really interested to see what other types of cards they have. Like as you play the game more often and you get more and more cards. I'm eager to see what other perks, you know, can help you. Cause yeah, like like I said, at first I, I was not about the whole like card thing, but once I got in like once I started selecting on like Okay, cool. Like, yeah. what else am I gonna choose the next round? I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll choose this. And and also one more thing, like, is the deck does that stay with you after the match, or is it just something you build while in that little campaign game? It's my understanding that you create your own deck, and then you can use that. Um, when like you can choose one of your multiple decks when you're actually mm -hmm. playing. I mean, I I only assume that because it says starter deck. So right. I'm assuming that if it says starter deck, then eventually there's going to be decks that aren't starter decks. Decks that you yourself create, you know. Mm. But, who knows. But overall, the game was, was very fun. Playing with four players, just yeah. the madness unfolding. And it's, it, it gets crazy. And you'll have stages where, where you, there's like little flocks of birds just like on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And if you disturb them, like it just, it just it summons a horde of zombies and... 
I don't know, just some, uh, yeah. some, something about that. Also, there are, there are just random doors that if you open, it'll set off an alarm with no warning. Yeah, one of our friends did that <laughs> on several occasions. I think I did it too, at least once. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it just kind of adds to like the whole experience. Like, And this was just the first difficulty. We didn't even bother with... Uh, the second or the hardest one that's available. Yeah. Shit, I can't yeah. even imagine. God. Uh, one one last thing about about the whole uh, deck building. I wonder what kind of. Uh, I wonder how they're going to structure that because. In versus mode, I'm not sure if you can play as the special infected. And if you can, is there a deck building thing element to that? And does your deck building uh, apply to versus mode? And if so, what's going to stop people with much stronger decks to kind of take advantage of the people with weaker ones? Unless they have like a, you know, like in a, in a game like League of Legends where the game will automatically pair you with people who are around your level. Hmm. Or if like if they see like two, oh, two veterans are in this team and then like two noobs, they'll try to balance out. The same with the other team. Maybe they'll do something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but we'll see. Well, we gotta wait, what, like two months? To yeah, to find out. To find out. We'll see if uh, if people will be able to smurf. <laughs> Have smurf decks and just troll the, the newer people. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, but no, this is gonna be... This is already a good sign for me that I'm gonna enjoy this game. It just took me back to playing Left 4 Dead. Um, and honestly, it's just the exact same game. Yeah. Just uh, extra, extra elements to it. So, and this was just the beta. So who knows, how, like, how much better the the real game is gonna be? Yeah, it, it, it's this was enough to, to sell it to me. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get Most it. Most definitely. Yeah. And if you guys have time, you know, and later on in the future they release a you know another beta, like an open beta, give it a try. I guarantee if if you didn't participate in this one and they do release another one before the game is out, uh, if you play it, I guarantee you're gonna like it. It, it's just so yeah. much fun. Uh, it is fun. Although I will say this, I, I think I like it because I play with friends. If I were to play by myself with a bunch of bots, I don't think I would enjoy it as much. Right. Um, we play with a couple of strangers online. Yeah. Um, I personally didn't hear anybody talking. I think when, maybe because they're not in the same uh, party as we are. Well, that didn't matter in the old one. In the old one, if as long as you were playing with people and you had a mic hooked up with like a headset and all that, you can talk to people. You can also mute people and you can mute yourself, but... Maybe yeah. it's meant to, to curve uh, toxicity. Toxic yeah, behavior. But, but then, I mean, how do you meet new people online? If you enjoy playing with them, maybe you can just send them like a friend request. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, but that's there's always our... going to be those toxic people online. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's that's a whole other <laughs> topic. Yeah, that's our video for today, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. And as yeah. always, let us know what you think in the comments about if you played it, if you're excited about it. Let us know all that good stuff. For sure. Until then, we hope you all have a great day, and thank you for coming back uh, uh, to the Oasis. The Entertainment Oasis. Bye.